A new season underway for LSU baseball. A Tigers team anxious to get back to work after the unthinkable in Baton Rouge, missing out on the NCAA tournament. After last season, sitting in the Omaha room watching the selection show, and that's probably the worst feeling I've ever had. We're so anxious right now, we're hungry because, you know, not getting to Omaha the past two years is really eating at us, and, you know, this is our year. Austin Nola and Tyler Hanover returning to anchor at all senior left side of the infield. We definitely have a solid shortstop. The third baseman definitely needs a little work over there, but uh, we both, you know, take so much pride in our defense and being leaders as this team. We just try to go out there and work as hard as we can every day. The big change in returning position players will be Jacoby Jones, moving from second base to fill the gap Mikey Ma took left in center field. Oh, yeah, Mikey was the face of LSU for a uh, couple years and uh, he's a great center fielder and uh, it's a big achievement for me to play in center field and follow Mikey's footsteps. Everybody loves Mikey and uh, it's going to be a, a good um, a good challenge but I, I believe I can do it. I'm excited about Jacoby in outfield. To me he looks just like Mikey, you know, um, his athleticism and everything. Uh, he's been getting good jumps on balls in practice and uh, it feels good to have a guy out there like Jacoby on the mound. Paul Maneri back for year six at LSU calls his position players a hard-nosed, gritty bunch, line drive hitters with gap-to-gap -gap power. But we're going to have a bunch of doubles, a bunch of RBIs. Our team doesn't strike out that often. A lot of guys, we're going to have, you know, we're not going to have that Mikey in the three spot. We're going to have one through nine guys to make up for him and more. On the mound, last year's three freshman weekend rotation returns intact with freshman All-American Kirk McCune back to lead the way. Obviously, we all want that Friday spot. And um, I think the fact that we're all, you know, fighting for that spot is going to help us out because, you know, just competing against each other, always trying to get better. We're always pushing each other, and I think it's great when, you know, pitching staff has that, you know, that cocky confidence to them, and everybody's trying to be the best. The Achilles heel of LSU baseball last season, the bullpen. Not my words, that's a direct quote from Coach Paul Maneri, who saw his Tigers lose seven times in SEC play by one run, and some more painful than the others. Last year we blew three ninth inning leads in SEC play. Had we done nothing more than just hold on to those three ninth inning leads last year, we would have won the SEC West by two games. Maybe had an RPI of about 15 and certainly would have hosted the first round of the NCAA tournament. There will be three players vying for the closer role this season. Nick Rumbelow, who throws 90 to 93 and developed a breaking ball. Austin's little brother, Aaron Nola, who has been called a strike-throwing machine, and junior college transfer, Nick Goody. I mean, I signed here to, you know, contribute somehow, and it was to be a closer, so that's kind of what I'm trying to win. And so it goes, getting ready for the February 17th season opener at home against Air Force, and then the brutal run in the SEC. Ridiculous, you know, that's why it's the best conference there is. You know, while we love playing in, I love facing competition like this every day, you know, our whole team's full of competitors and we enjoy it. We love seeing teams in front of us because, you know, it's, it gives us something to look forward to and something to shoot for. In Baton Rouge, Eric Ritchie for CST Tonight.